In this video, you're going to learn how we can create this chatbot in Langraph, Gemini Pro, or any model you like, custom function and streamlit that can respond to users' support requests. Langraph is a library for building stateful multi-actor applications with LLM, Langchain expression. Language can be extended to allow multiple chains or actors to work together cyclically over multiple steps. One of the great values of Langchain is that you can easily create custom chains. We have provided Langchain expression language as a function for this purpose, but there was no easy way to introduce the cycle. Langgraph makes it easy to introduce cycles into LLM applications. Langchain expression. Language is not suitable for describing cycles, loops, but by using Langgraph, it becomes possible to describe and introduce the cycles necessary for the agent. Definitely stay tuned throughout the end of this video. If you guys haven't followed me, I highly recommend that you do so, so you can stay up to date with the latest AI news. Lastly, make sure you guys subscribe, turn the notification, bell like this video, and check out previous videos because there is a lot of content that you will definitely benefit from. So that thought, let's get right back into the video. Before we dive into our application, we will create an ideal environment for the code to work. For this, we need to install the necessary Python libraries needed. Firstly, we will start by installing the libraries that support the model. For this, we will do a pip install of the below libraries. Once installed, we import langchain, langchain google, langchain community, os, typing, langchain core, operator, langchain and prebuilt, langgraph, and streamlit, we will set up the page title and layout style for a streamlit web application. We start by defining a function named main, which will serve as the central feature of our streamlit application. Next, we set up a title for the web page, followed by the creation of a text area. This text area is designed for user input. Additionally, we incorporate a button on the page. When a user clicks this button, the code within the corresponding if block gets executed. We set a variable named serper api key with the value your key api. Next, we use the Google serper api wrapper module to retrieve relevant new search results using serper api. Let's add a sort tool to sort a list of words alphabetically or a toggle case tool to convert letters to lowercase or uppercase. Next, we are going to create functions. First, we define the sort function which sorts the words alphabetically. Second, we define the case toggle function, which converts the letter to lowercase or uppercase. So far, we have defined all our custom tools, and now it's time to add them to our agent. In our tools array, we have defined the list of tools. The search, sort, and convert letter tools have only one parameter, so can define them directly. We have used the name, func, and description attributes, where we have defined the name of the tool, the function to be called by the agent when it wants to use it, and then the description, which is read by the agent to make a judgment on when to use this tool. The chat Google Generative AI is the class that is worked with to get the Gemini LLM working. Then we create the LLM class by passing the Gemini model that we want to work with to the chat Google Generative AI class. Next, we use the React approach to create agents, which are AI systems that can interact with tools and tools. First, Define a class to maintain the state within the agent. The internal state during agent processing is maintained in an instance of this class. This class will be used inside Langgraph later. The information held as the status is as follows. Input. Input content from the user chat history. Conversation history before agent execution intermediate. Steps. Intermediate execution details and results during agent processing agent outcome. Agent response result agent action or agent finish instance is stored. If the response result is agent finish, the process should be terminated. Otherwise, the handling will be to run the tool. Define the process to be executed by the agent. These functions correspond to nodes in the graph. The functions for the nodes defined here are as follows. Run agent. Process of executing the agent chain defined in step four, we define function execute to tools which takes a parameter state and retrieving tool, name and arguments we set. If statement checks if tool name is search, sort, or toggle case, if return to direct is a key in arguments, it is deleted. 
Then we prepare tool invocation for invoking a tool with specified inputs and return statements should continue. The function checks the contents of the previous response result and uses it to determine whether to terminate or continue agent processing. Normally this is all you need, but since the model we're using this time doesn't seem to use the tool much, we'll first first agent define an additional node function to make sure it uses the tool. Define a graph of agent processing. Graphs are roughly composed of nodes and edges. You can get a good idea of this by looking at Wikipedia's graph theory. The agent is now ready to run. Execute the graph for the agent defined so far. After compilation, it is a Langchain runnable object, so it can be used in the same way as Langchain expression language or LCEL chain. So let's run it. The results of agent processing each node in the graph will be output in order. The contents of the last line, agent outcome, will be the final result obtained. Especially if you don't need the execution log, invoke you can only get the last result. Let's run another query and print only the final results. Let's wrap it up. It was an agent implementation using LangGraph. In this execution example, the process does not cycle, proceeds in one direction and ends as it is. So there is little point in using LangGraph. Still, the LLM response, tool execution, LLM response using the result, I think it will be a very powerful framework when building an agent to run another tool. I will leave all these links in the description below so that you can easily access them. It's a great read and it'll give you a lot more understanding as to how they basically accomplish this. So with that thought, I genuinely hope you found it informative and valuable. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing for more content. Like this, don't forget to click the notification bell so you never miss an update from us. If you have any questions or thoughts, drop them in the comments below. I always love hearing from you until next time. Stay curious and keep learning.